Um, I don't know exactly where this is from, but I mean, basically you want to find all solutions to s of 2 to the n plus 1 equals s of 3 to the n where s is the sum of digits. So for n at least to take mod 9 to get n has to be 3 mod 6 for this to even be possible. Um, Okay. Then what? Three to the N feels like it's S of 8, well, there's what's the lemma about like A plus B again? It's like. S of A plus B, yeah, the point's the wrong. No, it doesn't. Um. Wait, what? No, I'm confused. Okay, never mind me. Um. So I really want to compute n equals 9. Something bothers me about the fact that I'm multiplying a bunch of 9s. That should- I feel like it should make the digits, um, like, pretty large. Uh, 6561, 19683... That's not even close. Well, whatever chat is jabbering about, I don't know yet. Um... The sum of the digits is so bad. What the heck is this? Um... Like, I feel like there isn't a reason to... Do I really believe the answer is no? Like... I, I just don't feel like this is well behaved enough for me to control. Ugh, 
be tough. I think I got scammed and I'm not gonna solve this problem quickly. Um, let's just, I'm gonna compute one more thing just to make sure that I'm not getting scammed. That's not how multiplication works. Oh my god, I can't even multiply numbers anymore. That's how old I am. Wait, that's actually really scary. I can't do straight multiplication in my head anymore. Like, I can't do 24 times 32. Holy shoot. Uh... Wow, wow. Okay, I don't know. Oh, wow. Now I'm really worried. I I, sh I used to be able to do much larger multiplications on 2 by 2. Uh, that's the problem. Down. Shoot. I hope. the right number of digits, I can't tell you why. Okay, but also they're like, I got 27 and 36. Um, yeah, so the problem is that these are actually way too close, right? Like, at this point, there's like, I thought maybe the right hand side would just be bigger, but now, after seeing like 26, 36, I feel like there's no conceptual reason why there should be no other collision integers. Like, I feel like if you ask me to guess, like, I feel like there should be one. The problem is, I don't want to compute 3 to the 21. <laughs> but, like, like, there's no way the answer can be no at this point, right? Like, the there's no size obstruction. Oh, what's the shout out? Sorry, I totally missed it. Shout out to Courage Computing from Pyrus. Is the answer actually going to be no? How would you prove that though? Okay, I can't do this in one go. Um, I need to do it digit by digit. I hope that's the right number of digits. 
Let me check. Three, seven, eleven, five, ten, nine. Okay, and then I add them. Okay, last five digits are five, three, two, three. I'm gonna block these off in groups of five. So, with apologies to everyone everywhere, but I'm doing this in groups of five. Because <laughs> I don't want to do groups of three, too many. Uh, four, four, three. If you want to, four, six, oh, three. One. Whoever said this problem would be fast, shame on you. Seriously, shame on you. Yeah, because I was looking at this and I'm like... April Fool's not the one yet. See, because the other thing, like, these sum of digits are not that big, right? Like, they grow at the rate of the number of digits times, like, you know, maybe four and a half with some large amount of variance. So I was looking at this and I was like, okay, I guess the right-hand side might just be larger somehow, but that seems really hard to prove. And then I got this and I was like, no, I'm definitely being scammed. Like, the answer has to be... Yes. Like, there's no way the answer can be no <laughs> at that point, because these are too, way too close. Uh. I'm missing a comma here, aren't I? Because the thing is, the variance is in multiples of 9. So if you have 10 digits, you're like 45 plus or minus like 9 to 18 drift. And then you're like, well, you know, <laughs> are they always going to dodge each other? They don't grow fast enough. <sighs> so is there somewhere I'm supposed to post this or do I just leave this in the record of tragedies? Oh, shout out to Evan put this in anti. Source is April Fool's Math Olympiad. Great. Um, I don't want to see the other two films. <laughs> I feel like if you put this in anti, then it's pretty clear what the answer is though, right? Like... I, it, like, it won't be an anti if the solution is a really long... Because the thing is, if the answer is no, the argument's going to be really hard. 
um, because it's so hard to get reasonable balance on Son of Digits. Um, so if you put it in anti, then everyone's going to know exactly what the solution looks like. <laughs> uh, put this in courage. I could put it in courage, but I feel like that would just be sacrilegious. I think we should put it in miscellaneous NT. <laughs> Miscenti is already garbage. <laughs> yeah, I mean, because if a problem is nice, it usually fits in one of the other units. Alright. I can't believe I have spent... Well, first of all, I can't believe people actually voted for that. Second of all, I can't believe I actually did it. And third of all... What the heck. Um... Let's do the pentagon. 